Hello there, and tonight you join me from the top of a mountain in the Lake District, and it is an absolutely stunning moment to get us going right from the beginning of this video. I have hiked up to this mountain overlooking Buttermere Lake, and the conditions that I've got now are just absolutely stunning. Over the last hour or so, some haze has come in across this view, which is forming my composition this evening and it's not too thick and it's above it there is some absolutely beautiful high altitude cloud which I get a feeling or I'm predicting is just going to fill with colour and I'm very excited about it. The sun is just pushing through some of that haze as we speak. It might dip down below some thicker cloud on the horizon, I don't know, but I still think there's a chance of some colour developing in these high altitude clouds. There already is some yellows and sort of subtle oranges that just look fantastic. <laughs> and in these just simply tremendous surroundings, it's a fantastic moment, absolutely fantastic. Alone on the side of a mountain with my camera, not much wind, a sunset just moments away and it just it feels so good this is what landscape photography is all about for me uh, talk about that a little bit more later but I want to get this shot just at the right moment so let's talk you through the composition the scene behind me has these two lakes and then we've got this ridge that I've walked up sort of in the foreground but I don't think I'm going to use that because as I use it it kind of works really nicely as a leading line but then it leaves the, the lakes just too small in in the scene and i want them to really be the sort of uh, the focal point of the image really with the mountains framing that really nicely and then hopefully with some beautiful color in the sky possibly the sun in there as well because it's a really beautiful orange color at the moment that won't overexpose the frame um, I've tried it, I've tried a little composition using this ridge and it does look good, it's just the lakes are too small. I'll show you a shot here that I took on my iPhone. It is nice, but just not quite what I want. The composition I've got is to zoom in to 35 millimeters on this, on this 16 to 35 millimeter lens. And I'm just using, if you can see here, I'm just using the front of Buttermere here as the base of my frame. And there's, you've got the little streams either side of that leading us into the image and it's working just fine. To be honest, the image is going to be about pulling as much colour out of it as possible. Right, I'm set up and I'm just about to lose the sun, I think, behind a thicker band of clouds. So I'm going to shoot that now. I'm at f11, 1 20th of a second. I'm bracketing two stops either side because there's a big dynamic range difference between the sky and the, the ground here. I think this shot will work now because I've got some nice light there still. That haze is kind of working for me as well, creating a sort of misty, ethereal, interesting feel of calmness, of stillness, and it's working really nicely, I feel. I will then wait until sunset, when that cloud, of the, when the sun hit, goes behind the horizon, and hopefully just this, this sky with this high altitude cloud will just fill up with colour. That's the hope anyway. So that colour is now starting to develop. Um, you always seem to get the best colour about 20 minutes after sunset. What you do lose is the light on the land, that beautiful golden light hitting rocks and things in your foreground. But then when that's gone, 20 minutes later or so, you get that colour exploding in the sky. And that's why it's always worth waiting around till after sunset for when those colours occur. But it depends what you like. I often like light on the land, but uh, I think today with this scene, it's going to work really well. And the fact I'm camping is great. So <laughs> it's just beautiful though. There's so much interesting cloud as well. Beautiful colours. Let's just adjust the exposure. I'm down to about a sixth of a second now, still two stops either side. I'm going to have to block the camera with my body so the wind doesn't catch it. And then just two second timer and fire away. And I think that's going to be really good. Let me just have a quick look at that 
Oh, the cloud just looks fantastic. So much interesting shape in there. I really love that. So I'm cozied up in my tent, and the reason I've come wild camping today was because I've been thinking recently about priorities, because I think it's about finding that enjoyment again. And that enjoyment for me comes with adventure, because I read a book a few years ago by a guy called Alistair Humphreys, and he, his sort of ethos was around the micro-adventure. The adventure where it could be anything, really, but where you make the most of whatever time you have available. It doesn't matter what your starting point is, just do something that's a bit out of the ordinary for you. And that is a micro adventure. He talks a lot about wild camping and that's what I'm doing, but it doesn't need to be that. It could just be, just be a walk that you don't normally do or what, even just walk to work. So you're actually, you're actually making the most of that time and it's, you can fit it into your daily grind. But for me, I want to start incorporating adventure more into uh, into my vlogs and into my just life generally. If I seek out adventure, I will find good photographs or good landscapes to photograph. And then following that, a good vlog will come out of it and I'll be able to share that, uh, that experience with you. I'm very much looking forward though to waking up in the morning and seeing uh, what I can see out of this very beautiful room with a view. So I've just woken up from a very cosy night's sleep and it is looking particularly spectacular this morning. We've got some really thin mist which is just adding a real beautiful mood to the morning. I've got some colour starting to streak across the sky now. There's a bit of colour over there so I'm going to quickly gather all my gear together uh, and get the camera out because I don't think this is going to last long but it's looking fantastic. Fantastic, yes. Wow, this is, I'm at the moment shooting the very same composition that I took last night because the pinks that are streaking across the sky are just fantastic, so it would be rude not to. I've got just a thin mist, like I was saying, but I can see through it really nicely, but it's just adding some drama and mood into the distant mountains there, and it, it's breathtaking. There's a small amount of wind, but otherwise it's not particularly cold either. So it's just a fantastic morning that's just made camping out so worth it. <laughs> uh, and I think that pink's just getting even better. So same composition as last night, so I'm not going to talk through it again, but F11, I'm at a sixth of a second, sorry, no, half a second. ISO 100 and I'm still bracketing two stops either side. The pinks just look incredible. Wow. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that's so nice. One thing I really love about camping in a position like this is you've just got shots or potential compositions just all around you. I've got Great Gable and Scarfield Pike, which is the biggest mountain in England over that way with some pink above it, looking amazing. I've then got this pink where I've just shot and that's what I'm gonna focus on because in the distance there is Cranach Water, different lake to Buttermere, but that second lake that we can see in the distance there with some interesting mountains and interesting shape in there. So all I'm doing is just keeping it very, very simple because I know this colour's not gonna last very long. It's gonna get very sunny today and this mist is gonna clear really quickly. This drama is going to disappear before 
I know it. So I'm working fast. I've put the 70 to 200 lens on there because in the mountains like this, with this lens on, you can get in close, find some distance and pick out the spots in the scene in front of you that are interesting. And that's what I'm trying to do here because looking into that mist with that lake and those mountains and that pink sky above it, it just looks fantastic. So I'm actually out at 70 millimeters. I'm still bracketing because there's still a large dynamic range between the ground and the sky. And I'm at one quarter of a second now because it's getting a bit brighter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot that. And I think it's gonna be just a really nice shot with those misty, moody, dramatic mountains in there, the lake in there, interesting shape in there, making the composition, and then that beautiful sky above it. <laughs> Let me have a look at that. Yeah, just so much mood, so subtle. Ethereal feel almost, no filters on whatsoever. I like that a lot. They're the kind of images I like, I like in the mountains at the moment. I also did a little handheld shot over towards that way, but <laughs> that's just, just brilliant. What a way to do landscape photography, it really is. Uh, anyway, subscribe, like, do what you need to do, and I'll see you on another one very, very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography in the amazing Lake District, out.